welcome to another driving in MacArthur. Today we're in the car with Renee from Campbelltown, or currently located at Campbelltown, but for everywhere I guess really. Yeah. Hello. Hello sir, how are you today? I'm good. Today we're in a fancy new Amarok. We are. Brand new, fresh off the truck. <laughs> and we've just left our um, showroom and we're going to head for an adventure. An adventure. For the ages. <laughs> <laughs> really quickly, just tell everyone, I mean it's, yep. not, it's hard to put what you do into a short sentence, but yep. try. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I am an inventory operations executive, which means I have a lot to do, more so use car, predominantly use car. Everything from the way we value vehicles right through to the sale of cars. So I'll make suggestions basically on how we can sell quicker or get those cars into their forever homes. Um, and a little bit about yourself, um, family situation. Yeah, so I am a mum to a couple of um, girls. Mm -hmm. So I have a 23 year old daughter who also has her own two children. Yeah, so a I'm a grandma. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that, but you beat me to it. I know. <laughs> I, am, I, am the, I am a very young grandma. Young grandma. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not, I used to be all funny about whether they call me nanny or granny, but really what no, I don't care. I'm nanny, but nanny, yeah. it doesn't matter, yeah. to be honest, as long as they call me something that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I also have my daughter, Jade, who is about to celebrate her 18th birthday. Yeah. She currently lives with me, obviously 23 year olds out and on her own, most heavily. Um, and I also am a foster mum. So yeah. I currently have a, a 16 year old foster um, son slash brother. Yeah who is being moved back to um, care. So he's been with me for about 18 months yep. uh, and he's gonna move on to another placement. Just cause he's, you know, getting to 17 yep. and needs to be more independent, that kind of stuff. Yeah, cool, okay. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell, is my living situation. Cool. Uh, and I'm my part, obviously I have a, a partner, a long-term partner now, um, Mikkel, so. He does not live with me yet. Everyone keeps asking. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's, when's he moving in? But yeah, there's yeah. been no, um, no plans there. Um, and so how long have you worked for Wakenings for? Uh, two and a bit years. Yeah. Just um, it was in COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, it COVID. yeah. before, just before. <clears throat> I started, I think, just before COVID and then everything kind of went um, haywire. You've got a couple of funky hobbies. I do. Um, do you want to tell us about them? <laughs> um, I take <laughs> photographs of um, grave sites for fun. The reason I do that is, um, well, A, I love the architecture and um, history, history in general, yeah. but also there are a couple of websites that I'm a, a member of that ask people to go and take photos of grave sites for their family members. So if they can't get there, it's just a nice memento for them. Yeah. 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 Or they don't have the information that's on the grave yeah. and they need yeah. it. They want a GPS location so they can Google Earth it, all yeah, that right. kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 So I do that in my spare time. But as the well reason as well. I brought that up is that, as you know, you know, I had to tell you about that. <laughs> yes. But we're going to go visit a gravesite. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually really excited. So there's a couple of really good ones in Campbelltown. Yeah. Um, we've chosen the one, I keep referring to it as St. Pat's, but it's the, the Old St. John's, St. Um, John's Cemetery. Yeah. Uh, Catholic Church. Catholic yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where the Old St. John's church is mm -hmm. it's just up top of this hill mm -hmm. and the other one was St Peter's which has the ghost the, the graves of um, Fred Fisher and yes. Co. Um, and Co. yep there's a few in there actually yeah there's quite a few so um, I thought we might just go for a bit of a wander and I, I've, I've I love walking through old graves I haven't done it for a long time Yay. but um, and you just read the stories and you try and imagine Back in who the they day. were and what they did and yeah it's it's like it's like mental people watching. It is. It really is. Yeah. Some of them have a lot of um, descriptions on their graves. Yeah. Others have beautiful poems. Yeah. The ones that are always get everybody are the, obviously the children Kids. ones. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. um, they're a lot smaller. But honestly, the, just the just the sheer amount of effort that goes into carving the stone on yeah. a lot of them is yeah. amazing. So here we are. Yay. Show us the way. This way. Sedgwick's an old name. Yes, there's know, quite Christians. a few up yeah, here. Yeah. Um, and very, very big on family vaults. Yeah. Warbies. I think there's even a few warbies in here. Oh my God. 
whole thing behind the vault is to be buried instead of cremated. Yeah. Um, generally, they will, you can do. So there'll be multiple graves in there, but that's yeah. just the one stone that marks them all. Correct. That's yeah. cool. You can do um, you can do cremation and be put in the vault as well. It, yeah, it just yeah. depends on your personal. Eight, so preference. that's 1878. I have to do a rubbing, right? That's the rubbing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Just to get the information, people put. Um, sometimes put clay in them yeah and it ruins the, the yeah, yeah. because it expands it's, with water yeah, yeah. but yeah you, yeah, you would really get careful. what greaseproof paper and charcoal charcoal yeah. Yeah. Matthew Healy you picked it out because oh, you here. photographed oh. it <laughs> this is the one you showed That's me the photograph of. yeah I did I yeah. photographed the photos online of this one well I'm some people thought this could be morbid but I think it's interesting yeah see me too yeah. That's why I'm into it mm. and I could do this like all the time yeah. every weekend without fail would be and I know that everybody thinks I'm already a bit nuts, but it, it's well, fun. There's reasons for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know. <laughs> I'll just let them think that. Yeah. But no, it, it is it's, It is a bit more of the history. And I've always been about genealogy and where did we come from. Mm. Being data focused, mm. where did we come from leads to how can we do it better. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so that's mm. why. Well, I'm glad we came here. Me too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank okay. you. We might end on that note. Yay. <laughs>